it coming. He is way out there. Approximately 12 meters out. So I am taking this and I am trying to find him in the viewfinder and ping him with the sun. And I think I can get him. There, this could be my last shot. He's six miles out. I'm trying to get him. I don't know if it's gonna work. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Help! Help! Come on, man. Ah. I can't hold it up anymore. I can't believe I couldn't get that guy. I got nothing else. No, no energy to row. No food, I need food. I, I, I just gave up my last flares for this guy. I'm in trouble. Ocean rowing, established in the late 1800s, has remained one of the most unconventional ways to travel the seas. And after traveling the globe over the last decade, I believe it's got the ability to be the first vessel of its kind to circumnavigate the world without any land transfers. That's me, Adventure Aaron. Despite my lack of experience, I'm on a dedicated journey to overcome my mistakes in life and see if it can be done. While I'm starting with no backing, camera crew, or team member, I'm bringing you with me as I continue to share the stories of all the humanity that exists from the people I meet along the way. It's that unconventional travel, leaving those unforgettable memories, maintaining a perspective I call sea level. It's Christmas, to top it off. I don't have anything left. How did I get here? How on earth am I out of food? And where is everyone else? Well, let's go back to the beginning. It's easiest to sort of cover off how I got into ocean rowing. So I'd been part of the British rowing squad for six years. I won six medals at six world championships. That's Chris Martin, my mission control. And one year prior, I reached out to Chris, who runs the Ocean Rowing Society. And after the last decade of doing adventures, I was on a quest to find my next adventure. Sort of question of what next and i'd heard about ocean rowing met a guy who had just come back or was, maybe he was just about to go and row the atlantic um, and that planted the seed um, and a few years later i uh, i was um, i rode the atlantic solo myself um, a, a very sort of serendipitous uh, series of events that sort of i've made a few phone calls met a few people and before I knew what was happening, I had an entry in a race, a boat, and it was all lining up. In short, we found a route that allows the first circumnavigational row to be done. The goal is to get down to Panama to hit my circumnavigational point, and then attempt my first crossing of three oceans across the Pacific, starting with the Pacific. At that point, you can't back out at that stage. So I was like, okay, right, this is happening then. Um, and the universe pulled me along on this journey. Serendipity to say the least. This was day four for me. 
Just like Chris's trip, I felt the synergy starting to really kick in. And after a brief bathroom break, I found myself sideways to these 20 foot waves, trying to get smiles to correct the route. Oh, and whose smiles? Well, let's back up even farther. My favorite lady in the world right now, the Honey Badger, formerly known as the Honey Badger. With the help from Chris and the Vancouver Maritime Museum, I sourced a boat. A bit of neglect, some body issues, it was a match made in heaven for the two midlife characters. We're on the move because I have an issue. This is the rudder that was here and it got clipped from the previous person. So today the Honey Badger and I are going to see a friend. 1,500 miles east, and we're off to see my old friend, Captain Otto. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back to Louisiana. Good to see you. It's great to be here. Is that uh, boat got you worried? You got a worried look on your face. Yeah, a lot of boats for one man to paddle around the world. It's better than the canoe, isn't it? So with the help of Captain Otto, Danny from Tri Parish Fiberglass has agreed to help me learn the business and do a work trade barter. I had to break it off. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> it wasn't going to work out. So right now, we fiberglass in the boat. I guess well, that's boat. good. We don't have to grind so deep now. Right. Just take off all the, uh, the gel coat. That's there, the white. Okay. Take the white off and just turn it black, but don't go so deep. We'll put wax on it, okay? Okay. And we're gonna put it up here. Wood. And we're gonna bend it like that. Yeah. And then we're gonna go inside, we're gonna glass the fuck out of it, and we're gonna knock this off. Okay. And it's gonna be fiberglass. Okay. And then we're gonna Grind a little bit all around here. We put a little fiberglass all around here, a little bit putty, a little bit of paint, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And bam, she's back in business with a few final touches. I now have a bond as good as Tri County does with fiberglass. It's a deeper relationship with my vessel on a foundation that worries less about appearance, job duties, and materialistic comfort zones. Shoot, I even had another home cooked meal while catching up with an old friend and making memories with new ones. Incorporating that perspective. Now, I just had to figure out how to use this thing. So I took it to Ocean Springs, Mississippi, where my buddy Paul and I tried to figure it out. All right, test day one, Paul. Get his butt back on the ramp. His feet are locked in. Day one. <laughs> and with a little more practice, it was those national seashores I found myself training. I'm kind of in it now. It's my first ride. We're going to see how it goes. It's literally coming directly at me. It's about as crazy as it's been since I've been in here so far, but. I think we'll be all right. Just gotta literally ride out the storm, let it hit, see what happens, assess everything tomorrow. So today we figure out how well these things are beached. I'm training. Oh, smiles. I'm gonna show you what happened to my anchor. Not something I'm proud of, but truth so here you go my line was here blue blue my anchor up wrapped my other anchor line beached my vessel and the rudder one hell of a start to one amazing new adventure all with the help of previous friends from the river now it's time to put it in the Pacific Ocean 
Join me next week for sea level as the story continues and gets deeper than the seas I find myself in without food. Hey Krishna, hey Krishna.